I'm here for a very special reason because through the initiative of the Glasgow Film Festival, they've managed to retrieve the only copy in the world of this film I made way back in 1975 with a great team, David Peat, Patrick Higgs and my partner and so on, um, Big Banana Feet. And um, this film was quite a success at the time. It played around the festivals. It got a circuit release. It apparently broke the house record in Newcastle. But then Brent Walker, who had bought the film, went belly up and they destroyed every single print. But by incredible chance, I was working in America, I was doing research on a film of Frank Lloyd Wright. And when I was in Berkeley, California, I was carrying too much baggage. And I had a print of Big Banana Feet, this film, 60 mil print. And I said to Linda Miles, who was running the PFI, PFA, which is the Pacific Film Archive, would you like this print? And bizarrely, that is the only print in the world that exists. And so that's the film we saw tonight. So that, that's a great thrill. And nobody in, this, in the whole, uh, nobody's seen this film in that form since 1978. The story at the approval show, the very first film we shot with Billy Connolly, which was called Kaleidoscope, which was a puff for the clay with John Byrne doing the graphics and everything, funded by all the little... Parahandy Provis. Parahandy Provis. And when we showed the film with this long-haired guy, all these wee Provis were asked for their opinion. And they said, I hate it. I don't like your man. I don't like your man. <laughs> <laughs> All of them. We went right round the room and I went, oh, no, I don't like it. And then I think Provost Gray of Glasgow stood yeah. up and said, this is the right image. So there you are. Patrick Higgs and me were asked to do this film on uh, a commercial really based on the Apollo. And uh, Frank Lynch was, it didn't really happen. But on the way out, I said, I just heard that Billy was going to Dublin and to Belfast. And that would be a, a way of, I thought he would have to, straighten out his Patrick Patwa a little bit to be understood because everyone thought he was very funny but how, how beyond Glasgow would he be understood? So I said to him, why don't we make a film? And he went out the door and came back and did a double take and said, how much? And I said, maybe 10,000 or something for a weekend filming. And, so and that's, how we, that's how we did it. I'm very happy to see it now. I think, um, and Billy is too, I think, you know, it, it just captures the essence of Billy at that time. But Billy said, I played a very good compliment. He said that, um, the form of all his own films, you know, where he does, goes to Australia, New Zealand and so on, they use a bit of the act and they go a bit of a touring. So it's, this predetermined all his films to come. So that's really quite happy to, to think that we seeded something there for him. Apparently you have to give a health and safety chat now. So in case the cinema is awash with tears of laughter, there's a life jacket under your seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if any of you find any of Billy's remarks inflammatory, the fire exits are... <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I think that's probably it, isn't it? That's very good, David. Well, that's <laughs>